All right, we're on lesson 23.1, page 26. We're going to be modeling with quadratic functions, but more specifically, we're going to identify which um, models fit the context given. So uh, I don't normally go into the explore sections, but it's worth going into right now because otherwise um, the problems really won't make much sense other than just being procedural. But um, if we take a look at this explore 1A section, uh, we're going to be taking a look at three um, three different types of graphs or uh, three different types of functions that um, we're going to identify through looking at a table. So, uh, and specifically, what we're going to focus on in this credit uh, or this section of the credit, how to identify quadratic functions. So, um, again, three different types of functions are um, linear functions, quadratic functions. And exponential functions, and the big real, the real big difference between all three is that linear um, functions, of course, create a line as um, evidenced by the name linear functions. Quadratic functions will create parabolas, right, that are either opening upwards or sometimes even downwards, depending on what the function actually is. And then um, uh, exponential functions will create. Um, these kind of curved lines that either slope upwards or downwards, uh, again, depending on what the specific function is. So uh, in any case, um, we're going to be identifying how to figure out what, whether or not something is a quadratic function just based on um, the table alone. So um, how we're going to identify it is through something called first and second differences. So when you have a linear function, right, and you, you make an xy table, um, uh, like we normally do. If we take the the y values or the f of x values here, zero to three, right? Well, zero to three is a change of positive three or adding three, uh, and then three to six is another change of uh, plus three. Six to nine is a change of plus three. Nine to twelve is a change of plus three. Twelve to fifteen is a change of plus three, and so. This is the first difference column. And, and as we can see, they are constant first differences. And so when you see constant first differences, you know that what you have is a linear function. right? And, and uh, it makes sense if we take a look at the actual graph. right? Um, the change is plus 3 uh, each time you go up uh, by 1x value. So that's basically what uh, what it means to identify uh, or to have a constant first difference that results in a uh, straight line. Now, uh, if you look at the graph of a uh, of, of a quadratic equation, you'll see that the the first differences are not constant, right? So from zero to one, you're doing plus one. From one to four, you're going plus three, so on and so forth. But they are not constant. But take a look at their second differences. So this is the first difference. Here's the second differences. So from 1 to 3, it's plus 2. 3 to 5 is plus 2, so on and so forth. And you'll see that second differences are constant. And this is characteristic only of quadratic equations, right? So um, um, one thing that I do have to note that you'll see in later problems is that um, even though the differences are, are super constant here, they're all exactly plus 2, as long as they're relatively close together, you can still identify them as constant second differences. So you might have um, you might have second differences of like you know 1.9, 1.8, 1.9 again, and they might not be exactly the same value. But as long as they're clustered fairly close together, you can make an argument that um, the the second differences or the first differences or whatever difference you're looking at are are constant. So um, let's take a look at how to do it. Um, through a problem. So here we have the function f of x equals x squared. So um, let's fill this out first. 0 squared is 0, 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16, 5 squared is 25. Again, it's not 5 times 2, it's 5 times 5. I and mean, we're doing it twice. That's what the square means. Um, so there's my f of x values, and so how to get the first difference is, is you're going to take the second value and subtract it by the first value. So again, the second value of 1, right, which is right here, and you're going to subtract the first value, so the previous value. So 1 minus 0 is 1, 
And then if we go down the first differences line, 4 minus 1 is 3, 9 minus 4 is 5, 16 minus 9 is 7, 25 minus 16 is 9. And you'll see that the first differences are not constant, right? But let's take a look at the second differences, and you're going to do the same thing. You're going to multiply, or you're going to subtract um, a number by its previous number. So in this case, three minus one is two, five minus three is two, seven minus five is two, nine minus seven is two. And again, we get them from the first differences column, and you'll see that these second differences are constant. And so we can say that this this graph here, or this function here, uh, is quadratic, right? Because um, they have constant second differences okay so let's let's continue on um, I won't read this explore section but um, we have a blank uh, a, you know basically blank um, table here to identify first and second differences so uh, we're not really given the function we're just told this is the uh, x uh, x column this is the f of x column so let's go ahead and do that. So in order to find the first difference, we're going to take the second value minus the first value here. So 15 minus 10 gives you a first difference of 5. And then the next, we're going to do 22 minus 15. 22 minus 15 is 7. Then we're going to do 34 minus 22. Oops, 34 minus 22. And um, that gets us to, what is that, 12, right? Um, and then um, if we go 51 minus 34, 51 um, minus 34, um, if we do that, we get, um, let me see, 51 minus 34, we get, Mm, let's see, seven, 17? Yeah, 17. And then, um, let's see, for the, let's see, for the next one, what is this, 77 minus 51, we're going to end up getting, what is that, 16 or 26? Yeah, so 26. So the first differences are, are kind of all over the place, right? So... I have a feeling the second difference is not going to be um, constant either, right? 7 minus 5, let's do that. 7 minus 5 here. So this number minus the previous number equals 2. 12 minus 7 is 5. 17 minus 12 is also 5. And then we have 26 minus 17, um, which is, what, 9. Now... Um, two, five, five, nine. Like I said, they don't have to be exactly the same number. As long as they're close enough, we can determine whether or not if it's quadratic. But these are a little too far, far apart. So we would have to say the second difference is... Differences are not close together the data is not quadratic okay so that's question number five let's go on to the next page um, to do the same thing so again to find the first difference you're going to subtract this number by its previous number 38 minus 23 we end up with 15 then 49 minus 38, we end up with 11. Then 57 minus 49, we get, what, 8. Then 62 minus 57, we end up with 5. 65 minus 62, we end up with 3. And then the second difference is we're going to do, um, we're going to do, um, basically, um, the number minus the previous number. This is this is actually we can't do that one because there there is no previous number before fifteen. So we're gonna do eleven minus fifteen will give us a negative four. And then we're gonna do eight minus eleven, which will give us a negative three. And then we're gonna do five minus eight, which will also give us a negative three. And then we're gonna do three 
uh, minus 5, which will give us a negative 2. Now, if we look at the second differences here, 2, 3, 3, and 4, um, I mean, I kind of feel like it can go either way, right? Um, but the answer key says that uh, it's acceptable that the second difference is differences are close enough that the data can be considered quadratic. But if someone were, to, someone were to write that the data weren't close enough based on the context, I mean, I could see this going the other way too, That saying that it's not quadratic. But um, again, it's based on uh, your reasoning and the context and all that. So um, your mileage may vary. So check with your um, math teacher before, if you have any questions on that.